Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Yes, I am back, honey. And yes, I'm here to slay. Let me go ahead and lean back because I know y'all be asking me, what the hell does your shirt say? What's on your shirt? It says, came to slay, okay? I haven't had time to make any videos this week, but you know what? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Alright, so you guys just saw one of my favorite memes. So I hope you guys are doing good today. I'm here to spill some tea. So as you guys know, early this week, shout out to all my lovely tea sippers who were tagging me in the whole Nia Lee and Cardi B situation, okay? They had beef earlier this week. When I tell you, me and my tea sippers were all up in the damn comment section, reading all the fuck we going down and sipping damn slow, okay? So I want to go ahead and break all of this down to you guys. So if you guys do not know, Nia Lee was one of the original people on Love & Hip Hop New York. And she was the bald-headed stripper chick, you know, who had a scar on her neck from getting jumped by a bunch of females. She wanted to be a rapper. So she left the show eventually. She was only on there for, I think, about one or two seasons. She left the show, and then she supposedly converted to Islam. She had a little girl. And since then, she's been low-key. All of a sudden, once Azealia Banks and Cardi B started beefing, Nia Lee decided to release all of these DMs that Cardi B sent her going off on her. Now, Nia Lee is messy as hell for making these DMs public, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what went down. Go ahead and check this out. So this is what Nia Lee posted. Cardi B comes on here and she says, I find it so funny how you be in my DMs, Trina, get close. But she, she meant Trina. Girl, Cardi B and her damn spelling. Trying to get close, but you doing shady shit. Eat a dick, hating ass bitch. I peep in the funny shit. Keep the same fucking energy when you come around me. Then Nia says, girl, bye. Ain't nobody shady you. Both of these bitches need to go back to school, okay? Anyways, Nia says, girl, bye. Ain't nobody shady you. Deserve what you have because out your consistent hard work. I don't like your flow and delivery, and I have the right to my own fucking opinion. So get out your pregnancy hormones, bitch, because you know I'm far from one to play with. Because I've never hated on you and still don't, your success ain't ever stop or detour my grind. So like I said, carry on. You was sucking my video guy's dick while he was editing my videos back in the day and saying how dope I was, so miss me with the bullshit, bitch. You don't want this, so keep it cute. Do you while I do me. Then Cardi B says, bitch, you was always trash and you still trash. That's why you still where you at. My delivery sucks, but you begged me to do a song with you and Cash Doll. I don't give a fuck. Say less. I want all the smoke. Then Naya says, beg you cool. That's what your delusional ass calls it. Then Cardi says, there's a reason why I'm a millionaire and you're still a broke bitch. Naya says, Copy less, you insecure ass Instagram thug. I'm not hard to find. Cardi says, I'm going to find you, but insecure about what? Because I don't respect the funny fake shit. Naya then says, I've never been jealous of your success. You insecure. And that's that. Girl, bye. Find me and any nigga or bitch. You think you're going to touch me. You won't. Cardi says, you've been on my dick and I'm my bitch, but throwing shade at the same time. You think I'm pussy? I'm not going to check you. Naya then says, try it, bitch, try it. You think I'm pussy and I'm not going to respond? Your delivery is whack and you're a disgrace to female hip-hop. Now suck my dick. Cardi says, heard you. You not like sit down, look at your neck. Naya says, I supported you more or so because of your grind, never your skills. Now all this ghostwriting shit coming out, damn, Gina. Then Cardi says, I don't care, I'm rich. I'm a disgrace, but you was begging me for a song. Then Naya says, I've asked several females to do rap records with, and whether, you, and whether you chose to or not, she says whether, Lord have mercy. I've asked several females to do rap records with, and whether you chose to or not, it's your fucking right. Cardi says, how many songs you sold that you wrote, though? How far did the songs you wrote got you? Then Naya says, bitch, I never begged anybody for shit. Get the fuck out of here. Stay tuned. I'm done with this. Cardi says, must not be that trash that you was begging for a song and you be doing videos to my song. 
Then Nia Lee finally responds and she says, you're absolutely right. So stay tuned, bitch. I'm not the one and you being an underdog knows how hungry a bitch like me is. Underdogs never stop. So stay focused. Tune in, you ugly little dirty brand new money bitch. I've been that bitch ho. You waited till you got pregnant to grow some balls to talk to an OG. Time will show who the real underdog from NYC was ho. Mark my fucking words. So after that, Naya posted all of these screenshots, and this is what Naya wrote on her Instagram. She says, you know I spend hours fighting with myself on whether or not to even address this. It's just so troubling to me that the same people we praise for women empowerment are the same ones tearing other up-and-coming female artists down. The media oftentimes brushes things under the rugs for their faves, but this literally hurt me to my soul, and I really understand now what it feels like to be attacked by the same artist that you cheered on. Now, y'all just heard me struggle to read that bullshit that both Nia Lee and Cardi B were writing. The fact that Cardi B wrote Trina as Trina, I was like, really? So this proved to me that all that bullshit that was written to Azealia Banks was clearly written by Cardi B's publicist, manager, somebody other than Cardi B because the bullshit that Cardi B wrote to Nia Lee, that was the real Cardi B's writing and her grammar and everything else, okay? So after all of this went viral, like I said, in the comments section, Azealia Banks was in the comments section. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was in. Then the first thing Azealia Banks did was try to start some more shit. Azealia Banks was in the comments section saying, look at your neck. Sounds like colorism. And at that point, people started going in on Azealia Banks and telling her to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Bitch, you bleach your skin. Why are you always trying to start something? And this is what annoys me with Azealia Banks because she's trying to turn this into a colorism issue when it's not. Anybody who knows who Nia Lee is knows that she has a huge fucking scar on her neck. And basically what Cardi B was saying through all that bullshit is, bitch, you've already gotten your ass whooped and you've been cut. Look at your neck. Look at the scar on your neck. That's what she's saying. Nia Lee is not no dark-skinned woman. She's a caramel-complected woman. So this had nothing to do with colorism. But once again, Azealia Banks is so thirsty to herp and jump on this Cardi B hate train that she's in the comments section spewing bullshit. So if you don't know Nia Lee's backstory, if you didn't know who Nia Lee was, then of course you would cheer on Azealia Banks and say, yeah, this is about colorism when it's clearly not, okay? My issue is this. Nia Lee needs to be somewhere breastfeeding her daughter and not worrying about Cardi B, okay? In my personal opinion, I feel like Nia Lee is jumping on this whole Cardi B hate train bandwagon that Azealia Banks started over the weekend. Had Nia Lee posted this a week ago or when everything first went down, I would have had some respect for her because she was basically calling Cardi B out on being fake. You claim women empowerment, but behind the scenes, you're over here trying to tear down another woman. Has she done this before, Azealia Banks? I might have been able to give her props but being that you waited until Azealia Banks called out Cardi and then now you're trying to throw more shade and trying to throw more dirt on Cardi's name it makes you look suspect as hell okay and it doesn't make you look any better because these were private conversations between you and Cardi and you made them public and this is why I say in the industry none of these people behind the scenes are really friends okay they deal with each other as far as getting money making music but all that you know key key in and take a picture with me all that shit is fake, and this just shows you, okay? Cardi B and I basically have the same background, both strippers from New York, but because Cardi B has that racially ambiguous Latina thing going on, it was able to work for Cardi B, whereas when Nia was the, you know, ratchet chick on the show, nobody was buying that shit, nobody praised that shit, she was a bald-headed ass bitch, and people just told her to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. That's why I've always said in my videos that there's certain things that Cardi B can get away with because of her racial ambiguity, okay, that other people cannot, and that's where a lot of this jealousy and underlying backbiting stems from. A lot of these bitches want to be just as ghetto and uncouth as Cardi B, but because they don't have that luxury, because a lot of full black women or women who have black phenotypes, okay, 
who don't have the particular features of a Cardi B or who can't walk that racially ambiguous line, it bothers them. They want to be just as ratchet. They want to twerk and show their pussies and not be judged. It's not even about the colorism. It's about people being mad about not being able to be ratchet in their full glory, okay? Let's keep that all the way 100. Nia Lee is not a hero in this situation and Azealia Banks is not a hero in this situation either, okay? While I can respect some of the things that Azealia Banks said, like I said in my original video, she still comes off to me as problematic and she's no hero to dark-skinned women because the same woman has talked about other dark-skinned women, caught them tar babies. She's beefed with more black people on social media than anybody, okay? The only time Azealia Banks has ever apologized for her comment is when she made some disparaging remarks about the gay and lesbian community. When it came to the homosexuals, she was quick to apologize, but when it came to apologizing to black women and to dark skin black women when she caught that woman a tar baby and went in on sky jackson and everything else it was crickets on her end okay so while i can take bits and pieces from azalea banks interview and say yes you're speaking some truth yes lovely t has said the same thing on her channel from day one about how cardi b is able to toe that line and it's cute azalea banks is not saying anything that me chrissy tasha k and many other women have not been saying on social media okay she just has a bigger platform to say it so i can give her props in that instance but still turn around and call her out on her bullshit and on her hypocrisy for how she has treated other black women you can't go into Nylee's comment section and then hint at colorism when that wasn't the topic at hand and that wasn't what Cardi B was implying in this moment but then in the same breath you yourself Azealia Banks have disrespected women your shade and darker so miss me with the bullshit none of these women are heroes a lot of this stuff stems down to a lot of women they have nothing else to fall back on their life is the industry their life is social media and you have a lot of women who are pressed because Cardi B is able to toe that line and she does not get judged as harshly okay there's no difference between a Cardi B a Nia Lee and a Cash Doll all these chicks talk ratchet shit they're all ex-strippers but the thing is Cardi B is able to monetize it because of how she looks because she's able to play into multiple different ethnicities and multiple different backgrounds okay and I've caught this out from day one is it fair no it's not you know what I'm saying it's not fair but you know what that's the way of the world so are you going to just sit around and complain all day and you know have a woe is me pity party or are you going to break through all that and keep doing you you know what I'm saying at the end the day the ball is in these females court y'all can either sit there and be upset that cardi b is able to eat off her ratchetness or else you can find your own way and your own path to grind and get your money i also noticed after she released these dms she also posted a music video okay that she recently shot and nobody's paying any attention to her music video yeah i do what i want just fuck up your win i'll be sending all these bitches better show me respect don't subtweet bitch you better hit me direct so, i feel like nile did a lot of this to jump on the azealia banks train to you know throw cardi b under the bus but with that being said i also had to call out cardi b okay i'm tired of cardi b whining and crying and getting in her feelings every time somebody says something about her she literally reactivated her twitter and her instagram just to come back and address the Nile situation go ahead and check out what cardi b had to say check this out
All right, so you guys just saw the tweets that Cardi B put out there. You know, so once again, showing that Cardi B is bothered and pressed, and she's always bothered and pressed. If you are truly happy, and if you're in a happy space, and you're pregnant, and you have your fiance, why not focus on that? Why, you know, you have millions of followers. Why do you keep addressing, you know what I'm saying, ants? Why do you keep addressing these ants and these so-called peasants and these so-called people beneath you? It doesn't make any sense. Imagine if Beyonce replied back to everyone who's ever said something about her. You know what I mean? This is why people call Beyonce the queen because her level of unbotheredness is insane. Instead of her addressing her critics and addressing her haters, she puts that into the music and that's why I will always respect Beyonce. You will never see her going back and forth on social media with anybody. And Cardi B is just way too fucking sensitive and she loves to dish it she loves to have opinions about people and go in on people and call people roaches and you know talk about their looks but then when she gets it back all of a sudden it's boo-hoo I'm a victim fuck that you know what I'm saying there's no victims in this entire situation all you guys have been right in instances and all you guys have been wrong in instances you know what I'm saying but what I'm seeing now with this whole Cardi B situation I'm seeing a lot of hate for this girl and a lot of it is jealousy point blank period okay the problem is like I said all these chicks started on the same level Cash Doll, Nia Lee, you know what I'm saying? The strip club wanting to be rappers. They all started on the same level. And when you're stagnant and you're on the same level as, you know, everybody else, everything's cool. But once you start making waves and you start elevating and you start growing and these same people are stuck in this particular position, they're stuck in this particular level, it starts to bother them. That's when you start seeing the green eyed monster coming out, okay? That's when you start seeing people saying, you know, why her and not me? Her story ain't no different than mine why is she popping and I'm not popping and that's all I'm seeing I'm seeing a bunch of women who want to be ratchet they want to be ghetto they want to be able to sit here and show their ass and act the fool and do whatever and get praise and get money for that in the same way that Cardi B is getting but people are only looking at the positive aspects which is so-called the money and the fame but they're also not looking at all the backlash that Cardi B gets as well and she clearly gets a lot of backlash and it clearly bothers her because her ass is forever ranting and raving on social media you know what I'm saying this is the life that you wanted people are going to judge you people are going to have opinions but the fact that she continuously complains cries and whines lets you know that everything that glitters in her life is definitely not gold so why these women are jealous and feeling some type of way about her fame and the money she's getting they're also not realizing the backlash and the hatred that she gets as well she gets a good amount of both. It's just that the mainstream media keeps elevating her and keeps elevating the foolishness, like I said before, her twerking on stage. If that was anybody else, there would be hundreds of black male YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, making bashing videos. If that was Nia Lee when she was pregnant with her daughter on stage twerking at a major festival. But because it's Cardi B and she's racially ambiguous, it's seen as, oh, you know, it's cute and, you know, she's doing her thing or look at Cardi. Look how the white mainstream media basically gave her props for that. But when you see black women online dancing and they're acting a fool and they're pregnant and stuff like that, no one pays it any attention. So like I said, this entire situation is crazy. But the underlying thing that I see with a lot of this is that Cardi B is one, way too pressed by other people's opinions. And two, a lot of these same women who came up with Cardi B are feeling some type of way because Cardi B done blew up, her brand done blew up and she's getting money. Meanwhile, they're still stagnant and nobody's really checking for them on the same level that they're checking for a Cardi B, okay? So anyways, y'all, that's the end of my rant. That's what I see about this whole situation. A bunch of messy ass bitches who are mad that they can't be ratchet and nasty in peace, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Nia Lee calling out Cardi B and then Azealia Banks once again inserting herself into some shit that has absolutely nothing to do with her, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.